This story begins on a spring afternoon when Marnie finds an unexpected visitor on Sally Ann's mooring. The newcomer purports to be a friend of Ralph's and has no desire to move on. He also exhibits a marked desire to remain unseen. He seems vaguely familiar. The question is, who is he? At the same time, another unexpected visitor arrives. A figure from Marnie's past, who brings a whole range of unwanted complications into her life. The action takes place at a time when a vicious mugger is stalking the area. It's gradually revealed that the first visitor is the most sought-after man in the country, an MP reviled in the press for notoriety, which he strenuously denies. Gradually, Marnie finds herself helping to clear his name, but once again all is not as it seems, and there are several twists in the story until the truth is revealed. As Marnie herself says, I never asked anyone to disrupt my existence so completely. All I wanted was to be left in peace to get on with running my business and a new way of life. But the more I learned about the troubles afflicting my unexpected visitor, the more angry I became. How could the media so hound a man that he was subjected to personal misery and the ultimate tragedy? I was forced to confront my conscience and choose whose side I was on. And to make matters worse, my private life was thrown into turmoil when I was at my most vulnerable. But then, assailed on all sides by adversity, I decided it was time to fight back. Taking on the might of the media was probably unwise, but I was determined not to let the press destroy us. Looking back, I'm amazed at what I had to do to strike a blow for justice, and even more amazed at how things turned out. But we did get through in the end, though not without dire consequences for all of us. I was devastated by the pressure to which I was subjected at that time, and then, just when I thought it was all over, came the strangest twist of all. Did we succeed? Well, that's for others to judge. But for me, life will never be the same again. And that's a fact. <laughs>